This video is sponsored by Webull. Do you know that Webull is having a limited time promotion? You can get up to USD $100 worth of Apple shares just by signing up an account with Webull using my referral link in the description below. All you need to do is just deposit SGD $2000 and make a total of 6 trades to get the full USD $100 worth of Apple shares. Now let's get back to the video. As quoted from Sam Goh's affidavit on the 16th of June 2022, I also instructed my solicitors, Drew and Napier LLC, DN, to inform the IJMs in the 26th of April letter that I am of the view that the responses ought to be incorporated into the IJM report, otherwise, the IJM report will not present a complete and accurate picture of the financial positions and affairs of the IJM companies to the creditors and the court. I further instructed DN to request that the IJMs provide a response by May 4, 2022 as to whether they will be incorporating the responses into the IJM report. However, as I did not receive any response from the IJMs by the stipulated deadline of May 4, 2022, on May 10, 2022, I instructed DN to write to the court to request leave for me to file an affidavit exhibiting the responses on May 12, 2022, i.e. the deadline for the IJMs to file the IJM report. 10th of May letter. I also instructed DN to inform the court in the 10th of May letter that the purpose of me filing an affidavit exhibiting the responses is for the court and the creditors to have sight of my position vis-a-vis -vis the financial positions and affairs of the IJM companies. I am of the view that this will assist the court and the creditors to have a more comprehensive understanding of the matters relating to the IJM companies and to take an informed position in the applications to place the IJM companies under judicial management. On May 12, 2022. The court directed that leave was not granted for me to file an affidavit exhibiting the responses at that time, as the IJMs had confirmed that they would be taking the director's comments into account in the IJM report where appropriate. The court also indicated that should I intend to file an affidavit after reviewing the IJM report, I may write to the court by May 17, 2022 to make this request. On the same day, i.e. May 12, 2022, the IJMs also wrote to me setting out their comments to my responses, among others, i.j.m.'s comments. As explained below, based on the i.j.m.'s comments, it appears that the IJMs have not conducted a comprehensive and complete review of the relevant documents before filing the IJM report. In particular, despite having all the documents, including but not limited to my corporate email account, and access to the relevant personnel of the IJM companies. The IJMs have requested me to produce certain documents which I believe exist. Based on the limited documents within my possession, I have endeavored to locate the said documents to the best of my abilities and annex the same to this affidavit were appropriate and relevant. I reserve the right to file a supplementary affidavit to exhibit and explain any other documents which are not exhibited herein, were appropriate and relevant. 